Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Hazra and today we would be discussing the problem remaining string. So comparatively this problem is a problem where you don't really need to go in depth, where we really don't need to hit around the bush. The main learning out of this problem is that use a pen and paper out there with you and treat it as a problem to solve instead of a DSA problem to use DSA concepts. Fair enough? Let's see what I mean by that. So in this question you are asked that you are given a string which does not contain any spaces. So it just basically means that if, if the input was not given, if this is not a function basically, if it is it came in a OA, that means you just need to do one input of it. That's enough. Okay, you don't need to write input line of it. Just input string and that would work fine. Then and an character ch and an integer count. So you would be given a character and a count. So what basically is that? Find the string after the specified characters had occurred count number of times. Okay, it's just like the analogy. Like let's say I have an elder sister of mine. This is my elder sister and this is me. Okay. So what my mother told that whenever, whenever I do any mistake and I cross that mistake, let's say I eat, let's say I go out a lot. Okay, that's fine. But if I go out on the terrace three times, then she would notify my mother. My mother has told that. And if your brother goes out in the terrace more than three times please let me know okay the same thing happens here also let's say i went to the terrace one so she would keep a count one i went to the terrace second time she would keep a count two i went to the terrace third time she would keep a count three next time when i go because of the count she has kept she would know that i have crossed three times and this is the point of time where she should notify my mother in the same manner, it is told that when I is appearing three times, then tell me the remaining part of the string. Let us see. So, at this point of time, the count that needs to be there is three. So, we saw, we started iterating. First day, no i. Second day, no i. Third day, we have an i. So, we would simply decrement the count. Then we don't see an i. Then we see an i again. So we decrement the count. Then we see s. No i. 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 Then we see an again. Now we decrement it. Now after decrementation, we know that after the count, like I know that this has, we have encountered it three times. That is why we have encountered the character the specified number of times this is the point of time where i should report the string back to the function what is remaining ng is remaining that is why this is the output same manner we would do the same thing again so it is told i and count is equals to three we saw it again saw it again then we saw it so count was three now it is two then we saw it good enough then we saw it again count is one then we would keep going, keep going and then we hit this. So now the count becomes zero, but we have, don't have anything to report back. At this point, we would say it is an empty string. So these are the small type of condition which is given in the notes that what all to handle if there is no character that needs that can that is left to process or return, you need to return empty string. If the I is if the number of occurrences is zero only. Like let's say my mother tells that we have some monitor in the class now. So even if we don't talk, she writes uh, she or he writes our name in the blackboard. It happened a lot in my initial days back in those school days, and I miss those a lot. So in the same manner, if the given count is zero only, then you need to return the whole string. Okay. 
fair enough so I didn't find the need of writing this code this is basically knowing the algorithm and then handling out the other test cases so at this point i would simply explain you the code so we have an occurrence of up till now we have seen only zero time and the index to just tell at the end what is the index that is left and we just gave a condition if the, there is nothing to look for that the count is zero only then we would simply return the whole string it is just that when i told the monitor is being told that like monitor has a grudge on me so even if i don't talk she would write my name so it's just like this scenario when the teacher goes out and she is given the responsibility to monitor me so even if i don't talk she would write my name on the board fair enough that's it and then we start the iteration whenever we hit that character we start incrementing the value then when we get the count as the desired value we break from there and we are not using a local scope over here because we are saving this now we would whatever is after that instance see whatever is after that we need to return that so that is why we are returning the substring i plus 1 to length of whatever is left if nothing is left we would return an empty string over here that's pretty much the code over here that's it for today if you face any difficulties regarding this feel free to give it out in the comments and if you're watching this video till this point of time make sure you comment and like the video so that this hard work could be justified and this work could be promoted that's it for today thank you and have a nice day